Hello, welcome to another episode of Mark II Golf Stories. Here I am in my dad's shed. I'm going to be looking at the head taken off the Mark II GCD and specifically how to remove the valves. I've um, got a few things to show you on the head. So without further ado, let's get started. So here's the head. And we've got a few things to show you on this. We've already taken a few of the valves out, but we'll go through the process on how to remove them. But before we do that, I need to show you uh, a couple of things underneath and why we're removing the valves. So, one of the reasons we took the valves out was because between the valves we've got these little cracks and they seem to be between each oh. valve so we want to take the valves out and have a look inside see if the cracks go up inside there we go. <coughs> so here's a better view of these cracks on the bottom of the head. And I've taken the valves out to, like I say, have a look down in between them so you can see any cracks. So far, it looks like we don't have any cracks, but we're taking six out. So I'm gonna show you how to take two more out and have a look in there. Place a bit full of up wadding to go underneath the valve, just in case it pushes it out a little bit. Don't need to play there. Right, and that's what we do. What we do, um, I don't know, size 20, I suppose, 18. Well, the top of the valve, mm -hmm. doesn't always work first time, it takes ages to work. Well, there you go. Done it. So, what does that do? That gets seized, you've only got one out. It gets these little keepers out. Hang on. Little keepers. They're them things. It goes in the top of the valve string. Right, it's okay. So what's the theory of this? What do you do then? Let me see. Well, the theory is, you're knocking down, like there's still one in, there's still a keeper in there, so I've got to get the other one out now. The theory is, you knock down on it with Where's it go? With that, then that releases the keeper and it's all undone. That's out of the um, socket. But I don't like it when only, only one comes out because it's a bit of a fat out then. until you get it out. There it is. Oof, not quite. There it is. It's out now. There's the top of the um, Valve. That keeper's dropped through there, I think. There's the springs. Two springs, one little spring inside the other one. Like so. No, there's the keeper. There's the valve. Old dirty old valve. Okay. Oh, there it is. There's the other half of the keeper. It's in there. I'm going to drop it on here. There it is. In fact, I might leave it in actually. Go on up. It's there. Uh, can make it even. Ah, at the bottom. I'm going to hold it there. No, so no, I can't leave it in. It's uh, got to come out. 
There you are. There it is. I threw it out for the keeper. Right, okay. You've got to persevere with it. It's not easy. But, you, you know, doable. Right, now this other one, we'll try, I think we might try a different way. I don't know if it'll work or not. But, I think it's a tool. Like that. Okay. What's that from, made from? Steel. No, what, steel, what was it? Steel tubing. Just steel oh, okay. tubing. I cut it off a piece of steel tubing. Um, yeah. And what I'm going to try to do is put that on a valve at the back. Mm -hmm. Put that on there like that. Right. That's that, that's that. And then just... Close it. You have to make sure that the uh, keeper doesn't fly out all over the place. So what I'll do, I'm going to put that over there. I don't want to lose it on things. I'm putting that over there. I'll just tighten this up. You should hear it coming out. Okay, if you see inside there now, it's pushed the valve down and the keeper visi keepers are visible. So there's one which we've cleaned. You can. They've got like liners in them. So, yeah, that's not cracked. So there's no, no, no gases getting in between the two valves anyway. Not so great, but it helps a bit. It helps a bit. And then, it smells better. I mean, that's better already, isn't it? Yeah. Just going to give the inside of the valve housings a clean as well. Just spray a bit of diesel ERG cleaner in. One of near enough, it'll do. Give it a clean the rag. Harsh, you think. So we're just going to try and give these guys a bit of a manual skimming. As you can see, it's a bit. Let's see which one it is on these. No, it's, it's a bit dirty, and there's a bit of a. These bits are raised. So we've got some sandpaper. What grit are we starting with? That's only twenty. Okay. I've got three twenty on the on top. What it looks like. Still needs more yet. 
I'm gonna get oh oh should have had that bloody rough one. I'm surprised when it did. See it's taking it off round here. Hmm. It's done that. That's not so bad there. And there, the middle. Yeah. It's the middle, isn't it? Is it lower in the middle? It must be. It's not quite flat. It's just here where the I think it's where these are raised, you see. Where it's cracked. I think it's slightly raised. Oh, I see. It's like they're lifting off it a bit. Mm, might be. I don't know what you can do about that, is there? Not a lot, no. And it will be inside the... Well, do it across the middle. It, it will be inside the um, the gasket. The gasket goes around there. Yeah. Just do it in in, in the middle, then. Is it flat in the middle? There's a straight edge. That way... It raises, isn't it? Ooh, we'll go diagonally. It's on this one here. Go diagonally. Fine. Fine. A little bit maybe. It's this one here. Is that the only thing? Right. So just keep just keep at it, I guess. Yeah, keep keep going a bit longer. Use this okay. up. So we're using that one one twenty. Yeah. Okay. okay. Just keep brushing the uh all the fine metal dust particles off the sandpaper. How's that looking now? I will blow it right off yeah. That's fine there. Fine there. Mm. Fine there. Fine there. Fine there. You can't see any detail like that, can I? Smashing that. Yep. We need to get those marks off it. Don't we? Do we need to get, even get the marks off it? As long as keep going. I mean, that feels nice and smooth there. As long as you go flat, a bit of a bit of one there. I think it's still here somewhere. Yeah, it's still a bit. The back, the back, back side. Yeah. Okay, let's give it another few passes. So there we go, that's the end of that video. <coughs> if you found it useful, if you found my dad helpful at all, say hello. Dad, hello. say hello. Hello. Uh, please consider dropping a like, clicking on subscribe. Um, obviously you can always have the option of buying us a coffee or even subscribing to us on Patreon. Hopefully that's given you an idea of how to remove the valves and maybe tidy the head up a little bit. We'll be doing another video when we put it all back together. Hopefully we can get it all in without a problem. Uh, next video is probably going to be on looking inside the water pump and seeing what sort of state it's in. So until then, see you next time. Thanks and bye bye.